act like we never left BDA and this chapter of One Piece was a very good chapter but not a great chapter. I wouldn't go that far. We got a lot of information but I wouldn't say it was a great chapter. Now at the beginning we got Vivi and Alabasta. That, that was the focus at the beginning of this chapter. And we see King Cobra and he's really sick. He's on demand. We're not sure what's wrong with him but he's kind of, he's at the point where he's, he just wants a successor. He wants to retire and Vivi is not ready to get married. We also have Hina who is a rear admiral now escorting them. We haven't seen Hina in a very long time and she's still sexy as hell Hina. She's escorting them and then you know Pell is casually talking about Vivi and her time as a pirate and they're freaking out and Vivi does this huge jump just jumped off the balcony which is crazy and she was really okay. So that shows that Vivi has been doing some type of training and she should be a bit stronger so Vivi for Straw Hat is not over. She could still join the crew especially if shit goes to shit. Okay especially if things go to shit at the referee. Now at the beginning of the chapter it had this random person I'm not sure who he is but he's kind of inconspicuous but then kind of out there where it's like who is this guy? I, I don't know if you guys know who he is. I'm gonna, gonna have a picture up. I, he just looks like somebody that's important but is trying really hard not to look important and it's just I'm wondering who this person is. Anyways, it's definitely confirmed that Vivi is going to reverie. Maybe she gets there with no hiccups or maybe things could go wrong. You never know. This is One Piece. Next, we see my boy Sabo's brother, King Steli. And Steli, at first I didn't notice it when I was doing the live reaction. That's Steli and his wife, Sally. And Steli is now the king. And he's the same person that he was. A trashed human being who really thinks that humans are trash. He said, you know what? You guys should go. Like, trash should be in the can or something like that. Which is like, he has not changed. For, if anything... I think he's gotten worse. He's had no one but his parents to look up to. We know that they can really be scumbags. So, like, Steli should be an asshole. If anybody forgot what a reverie is, is the meeting. It's like a, a conference of the great nations and all the representatives from the countries are going to meet together and have a discussion. And this is known for a lot of conflict. So, expect some fireworks in that meeting. We see a lot of people that we don't know who they are. But I guarantee you, these are all important people that it's going to make sense later down. But right now, it makes no sense whatsoever. I'm like, who are these people I'm speculating has this guy with a chin and it's a clock. You have a lot of interesting looking characters and some of these characters they look similar to other characters we've seen before and it's I really can't wait for all this to tie in because at this point we don't know anything. We don't know anything but it's interesting as hell. But then we do get some familiar faces. We see Wapple, Dalton, Kureha, Violet and Rebecca. Apparently Rebecca and Violet they're, they're going to the reverie as well. I'm not sure if this is going to be an opportunity for Rebecca to finally join the Straw Hat crew because what I expect from Reverie, I expect everything to go wrong. King Cobra says he's going to ask about the Void Century, which, you know, as the world government, that's not something I want to talk about, especially in front of the representatives from different countries. That could be a very bad thing for the world government if everyone got into that conversation and started picking sides, right? Because things could get really bad really quickly. And, you know, I expect admirals to be there or an admiral to be there to look over it and to just, just basically just be there. I, I could see Cobra just getting assassinated right in front of Vivi and if Vivi may have to run for her life go back to Luffy and then be with the Straw Hat Pirates on the actual Cake Island. Like that may happen Pell may eventually die <laughs> okay let's let he's not gonna die. That, he's he's immortal okay. The OP, OP fruit was used on Pell. I'd say that right now right here. We even see Lizabello and he's having a conversation with Riku saying hey we should go together. And Riku is kind of apprehensive he's saying people are treating it like a festival when it should be a serious conference. And Lizabello like chill bro it's just like chill bro why, why, why are you so serious we go on the water and we're with princess shirahoshi and the conversation there is about bringing shirahoshi above surface and honestly they should not do that that is not the smart move i know you want to you know show that you do trust the world government but right now i'm sure word got out about shirahoshi and her being an ancient weapon Karibu did overhear them talking about it, so he knows about it, and then he could tell others, and that could be a really bad thing, especially if I think the representatives from all the four Yonko are going to be there. So if Shirohoshi is there, that could be another reason for a, a death battle. We then go to Luffy's crew, and they're on the ship, and they're on the way there. They didn't show us how they got into the ship, but they're on the ship, and to no one's surprise, Carrot is there, and Carrot, you know, I'm hearing it, everyone is clamoring for Carrot for Nakama, and it's just like, all right, chill. People are saying that she's really strong. I mean, she's She's pretty strong, but she took down Luffy. Don't don't read too much into that, okay? Because it was the same thing when she she went against Zoro. So now the carrot hype is building. Carrot is Yonko level. Carrot is Admiral level. People are trolling, but it's it's really getting to a point where it's just like. 
chill. It's typical straw hat stuff though. They are hungry. Nami wants to cook for them, but she's gonna charge them like 5,000 betty for just a plate of food. And it's just Luffy's nibbling on Carrot's carrot. And Carrot just goes off on him, and that could be something there. It could be something with all the minks where it, it, it could be something there. Meat and potatoes of this chapter though has to be the end when Pedro, my boy, who I don't know if his quirk is to just be a top of everything and just be like at the highest peak. Because when we saw him in um, Unzo, he was at the highest peak of that tree, and now he's just at the top of the sails, just chilling. Has a cigarette as well. That could be interesting with his connection to Sanji. He's reading the newspaper, and the newspaper says that Baltigo, which is the headquarters of the revolutionaries, had it has been destroyed. Right? When I first read it, I thought instantly, Blackbeard defeated Dragon, and now it's just. That, that that that's not even close to the truth. It's, it's a few things that could have happened, right? It's a few things. Let's go through these scenarios. One, um, Blackbeard got there too late, and the revolutionaries have they've already began to move, right? Because I predict that they're going to attack the referee. That's the perfect time to attack the world government. That's the perfect time to stage a coup. So wh why not attack then, right? Attack the world government then. Two, they got into a fight and Baltiga got destroyed because it's two monsters, Blackbeard and Dragon. Sabo's there, so, you know, Sabo has the flame flame fruit, that's fire. And, you know, Blackbeard has a lot of monsters on his side as well. So that could have been the, the aftermath of two people that are clearly on Admiral level, two crews, you know, revolutionaries and the Blackbeard Pirates just going at it. Three, the revolutionaries did a setup where they just destroyed everything because they're moving to another hideout and they don't want to leave any traces of anything that happened. And again, to avert the world government's eyes because they're going to make a move. It's like if everyone's focused, oh my god, you know, Blackbeard, and they're just using the fact that Blackbeard tried to invade, like I said, just to keep them, they want to go under the radar as much as possible. So why would they engage with the Blackbeard Pirates? So I do not think for. I don't think it was is as big as it is, as it's being hyped up to be, especially because the world government is reporting it, or it's in the newspapers, because, <laughs> come on, you really can't believe anything you hear from that newspaper, it's, it, it's shit, it's, it's not even news, it's just like, what is speculation, like, because everything they say just turns out to be a lot. It was a pretty good chapter though, 8 out of 10, 8 out of 10 I'd say, not a perfect chapter, it had its moments, the best part was at the end, Dragon vs. Blackbeard, you will see the theories pop up over and over, I may make a theory of my own and you know we'll see how that goes but let me know what you thought about this chapter i thought it was pretty hype really good stuff really good stuff but again let me know what you think like if you did subscribe to this channel if you have not that would be dope have a good day people